You're watching Telecom TV and joining me now is Phil Motterham, CMS VP and General Manager at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Phil, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. What is driving the need for a new 5G network? Well, look, I think some of it is obviously the evolution of technology. So that's probably the push. You know, we had 3G, 4G, and now we've got 5G. I think in terms of the pull, though, I think you see telecoms operators and also enterprise customers recognizing some of the benefits of 5G, such as speed, uh, latency, and the ability to kind of slice the network up and offer different levels of service across each slice. So I think that's the pull, because when people understand the technology and what you can do with it, they're then thinking about, okay, how can I use this technology to support my business? And that business may well be things like autonomous vehicles or further automation of industry types, those sorts. So that's the pull, if you like, for the technology. And the edge has a role to play here as well. Clearly, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is HP's strategy. I think the HP's strategy is to be the leading cloud to edge provider of uh, technologies. And I think 5G will not only transform the core of the network, but it will push the technology out to the edge as well. So I think you'll see way more applications and also compute technology sitting at the edge. And clearly that makes a huge opportunity or represents a huge opportunity for HPE. And what are the challenges that are presented by 5G for telcos? Well, look, I think there's a number of challenges for uh, operators around 5G. I think obviously getting the return on the investment is a big one because there's a lot of money obviously going into the spectrum that they paid for it and also the infrastructure. So I think there's a key point around how do you monetize uh, the 5G investments? And then also um, how do you automate the provision of new services for customers as well? And how does HPE help to address these challenges? So the way HPE helps to address these challenges is clearly we have great infrastructure and also the CMS software as well that can help telecoms operators deploy 5G services for their customers. So we're able to offer 5G core services for telecoms operators. So if they're interested in cloud native and open technologies, they should talk to us about that. And then on the other side as well, where they have new services that they want to deploy either for themselves or enterprise customers, then we have some great orchestration products that can help them deploy those services for their customers. Why does 5G advocate the need for a new network core? The reason 5G advocates the need for a new network core is um, if you're running 5G at the edge and you've only got 4G in the core, then actually you miss out on a lot of the technology that's being built into the 5G standards. So actually when you look at the 5G standards and what you can actually achieve with those 5G standards, particularly in the areas of network slicing, different latencies, et cetera, et cetera, in order to deploy that effectively, you need end-to-end -end 5G versus having 5G edge and 4G core. And 5G also introduces the concept of network slicing. Correct. Yeah, so I mean, that's, I think, a big opportunity for uh, telecoms operators. So 5G, obviously, and the standards that underpin it would allow operators to slice the network and then offer a different level of service for different customer types across that network. So what is HPE's solution for the new 5G core? Okay, so the way I like to think about HPE's solution for the 5G core is somewhat like a cake. So at the very base of the cake, we have the infrastructure layer. And this is what HP is famous for, our servers, storage, those sorts of technologies. And we're able to offer those technologies to carriers on a consumption-based model. So as opposed to them buying uh, that technology type with a large upfront check, we would sit down to them with them and say, okay, what's your plan? How are you gonna use the technology? What sort of volume do you think you'll see on the technologies? And then we would be able to bill or work with the operator and charge that on a consumption-based model. So that's the base layer of the cake. And then in terms of the other technologies that we sit on top of the cake, we have the CMS portfolio. And what we're offering there is we're offering um, open 5G network functions. So where an operator wants to mix and match different 5G network functions, then that's where CMS has an offer. And this pay for consumption uh, model you've been talking about also plays into this as well. Correct, yeah. I mean, the, the, the great thing about having a consumption-based model that we would offer to telecoms operators is it somewhat de-risks the proposition a little bit more for the telecoms operator. So it's basically HPE saying, right, we've got some skin in the game with you as your business grows. So yeah, that's uh, HPE showing that we can be a great partner in the telco space.
So to conclude then, what is HPE's strategy for 5G? So HPE's strategy for 5G is to make sure that we're a great infrastructure provider for all the telecoms operators, be that at the core infrastructure level, but also importantly out at the edge as well. So we've obviously got our Aruba portfolio and Aruba's got a great position in terms of edge technology. So telecoms operators should think about HPE at the edge from both a HP perspective and also an Aruba perspective, and then sitting on top of that, we have the great CMS 5G technology. Phil, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure. Thank you.